I guess I bought all the Marvel Mystery Oil the last time I was at AutoZone because since I took what was left on the shelf, they said they haven't got any back in stock. So we're going to go over here to Wally World. Let's try to see if we can find a gallon of this stuff. I hate going into Walmart, to be honest with you. I, I don't like going into big stores in general. But we shall see. What we come up with here. They got some just regular old Valvoline high mileage Max Life synthetic blend down there. I could use that. I'm not really seeing much platinum high mileage full synthetic. It's all 5W30, 5W30, 0W20. I wonder if I should just go with a Super Tech just because I'm going to change it off. And it says advanced full synthetic 10W30 right here, 20,000 mile wear protection. And it's only $17.96. Yep, let's do it. And it says it's an ST16 filter. It's a Super Tech ST16. Now, where's that at? It's right here. All right, we're going to run the Super Tech filter, Super Tech oil, and then we're going to run the Marvel Mystery oil. And then, right here. Marble mystery oil on the gallon. And then one extra just to make it easier today because this stuff is $7.50 at AutoZone. Here it's $3.88. We're going to add one more thing to it this time. I'm going to order, I'm going to put a quart of the Lucas oil stabilizer in there to get some of that uh, oil viscosity up a little bit. So through the consensus of you guys wanting more Marvel Mystery Oil, that's exactly what I'm giving you. But I'm going to add a little twist to it. I'm going to add an oil stabilizer to it because the oil did get a little thin. Um, so I'm going to run a 10, uh, 10W30 Super Tech full synthetic high mileage for an extended mileage formula with an oil stabilizer and a quart of Marvel Mystery Oil. I learned a little something from the first run. I would have liked the oil to be a little thicker than what it was or be a little bit more stable than what it was. Uh, just because this motor does have like 190,000 miles on it damn near. And it'll let me feel more comfortable about the situation and probably help suspend uh, the Marvel Mystery Oil, you know, coating the product and stuff a little bit better. Maybe it'll help pick some of that up and keep it on the product longer than uh, washing off so quick. But anyway, um, let's get back to the shop right now, add this to it, and I'll show you guys what I'm doing. Okay, I got one of their filters, uh, threw some oil in it, I'm gonna throw a little bit more, I'm gonna go ahead and climb under the truck. And Good thing about having a truck that's a little bit higher off the ground, you can climb under there and change the oil without lifting it. So I'm gonna finish filling this up, spin it on, then drop the oil, and then uh, come back. You guys remember the first time I did this, how slow it was. Still pretty slow. Bitch, I'm not closing this out. I'm just, I'm just changing the tab. Shh. Messing up my video. Gosh. I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, bud. Okay, so I chose not to go with the Lucas. As you can see, it's still sealed. I, I didn't want to change the variable. I went with a, you know, a heavier weight oil or a thicker oil, and I just left this still intact, and I'll choose to use this another time. I thought about it, and I was like, you know what? Don't re reinvent the wheel. What I just did was working. I do want to put this in on my third run just to kind of bring a little bit more um, stable oil condition to it while running the Marvel Mystery Oil. I think this 
with MMO would be phenomenal. But I just ended up choosing to go with, you can see there's one quart left in the jug. I went with the Advanced Full Synthetic 10W30 from Supertech. And because it's just going to be another thousand mile service, I went with the Supertech ST16 filter and topped it all off with that's the power combo this run well we're gonna get it all running check uh, oil level and stuff so I'll be back with that okay everything's pulled back together snap back in valve cover back on everything lined back up the way it's supposed to be let's start it up and then check the oil level No flood mode on this one. See the mileage, we set it so you guys can see it. 179.985. Let's check back again when this is at 184.985. Let's do 500 miles and check the condition. Or do you guys want by we or uh, midweek updates? Let me know what you think. Shut it down, check the oil level real quick, and then, uh... Oh yeah, she's lagging at 10W30. Oh yeah. Let's pull the dipstick real quick, and then, uh, we'll pull the dipstick, check the oil level. And then end the video. Nice, fresh, clean oil. There we go guys. Well that concludes this. Let me know if you want Let me know if you want midweek or next update being 500 miles. Thanks guys.